Hello there, welcome to another 10 minutes watercolor tutorial. My name is Jana and every week I bring you a new quick watercolor video. You can paint along or just sit back and watch. As usual, the list of materials can be found below the video. This week's theme is a summer landscape. Guys, if watercolor landscapes are something that interests you, I have a whole Skillshare class on this where we paint three different summer landscapes, talk about the color palette and various techniques to bring texture to the scene. Feel free to check it out, the link is below the video. So let's get started. I am now using my masking tape and piece of hardboard to fix my paper to a firm surface. This will prevent the paper from curling as it gets wet. And then I just simply suggest the horizon that's the only sketching we are going to do today. Now I'm going to paint the sky, which will be the main star of this painting, and I'm painting it wet on wet. So first I apply a layer of clean water on the sky area. Then I go in with ultramarine blue. I paint the upper part of the sky and as I go downwards, I leave out some of the space, leave it blank and that will be the base for the biggest cloud. And now the fun part, while the sky is still wet, I take a piece of paper towel, just a tiny bit, fold it in my fingers and I'm following the shape of the cloud I suggested as the blue and white meet, tapping and lifting the wet pigment from the paper. Every now and then turn the piece of paper towel in your fingers to find a clean spot or just take a new piece. I'm also going to add few more smaller clouds above the main one. And you can see that lifting the pigment and drying the paper that way gave us a realistic, defined shape of white fluffy cloud. Now I want to spend some time on the ground. I still use my mop brush and I have a raw sienna color and I'm applying it in quick diagonal brush strokes. This simple trick will bring a feeling of depth and distance and also a nice texture. Now let's add some more color. Raw sienna is richer now, but see that I still leave out some of the white spots, some white diagonal lines representing the crops growing in the rows and the perspective of the scene. Let's add a bit of olive green as well. And now I want to come back to the cloud and I want to add some shading to its body. So using a light mix of ultramarine, I just randomly create some light blue spots.
When I think I went too dark, I just use the paper towel again and lift up the pigment. It's already looking very good. Just to add some crisp, I have my liner brush and I just throw simple lines in raw sienna and olive green. That is the wheat or the grass, anything that is growing there. And see that I don't cover the whole area of the ground with the grass, just here and there. In the distance there are some trees or bushes, uh, so I have my fine brush and a mix of olive green and ultramarine, which gives me a cooler green tone, and I'm just suggesting the greenery in the distance. And as a finishing touch, let's add some flying birds. With the finest brush you have and the bluish mix of color, just draw simple V-shapes, several of them. And that's it! Very simple, very quick, just a few colors and here is the result. I hope you liked the video, let me know if you have any comments or questions. See you next week, bye!